What up, everybody? It's T-Biz and my good friend... Overlord! Of, of, uh, of, uh, go ahead and plug yourself while you got the spot. Overlord, that's the channel name. Still comes up under uh, Overlord Tour Reviews, to my surprise. Well, what about your various Instagrams and other things and projects? Oh, we'll just plug Overlord.Productions and we'll leave the other ones to the... All right, that's cool. But we're, who are curious. <laughs> all right, but we're, we're both King Diamond fans. We're not posers. I, I, I like Merciful Fate. I like King Diamond. And uh, <laughs> and so does Overlord. Overlord's a, a big fan. And um, what's your favorite album from King Diamond? Abigail. Abigail. That's Merciful good. Fate is definitely Don't Break the Oath. <laughs> that's a good one. I like Gypsy. That's probably one of my favorite Merciful Fate songs. That one in the it was the Corpse Without a Soul song. Uh, uh, that was actually on like a B side, like that uh, it, Return of the Vampire. Yeah, I had that on cassette thing. when I was in high school, like in ninety, the mid nineties. Yeah, it was on. Yeah. Like, it's like on Best Of. I mm -hmm. guess they never put it on like a legit album. But um, also, everybody's been asking on the on the video, the pickup video of this, where you can get this figure, and uh. Just type in, you know, reaction figures and uh, go to, where is it at on here? It's uh, super7.com. You can't really miss it. It's right well, there. King Diamond's out of stock temporarily, but he will be back in stock shortly. Actually, I read a blurb or something that Urban Outfitters actually has a bleed over stock or something of, of King Diamond figures. If you yeah, have they got a small handful of them, I think. Yeah, if, if, so if you're around an Urban Outfitters, go see if you can find them. I think it's on the website, too. Maybe so. But I got this sucker right then and there when he got put out. So, yeah. Maybe I, I wanted to, but I had it in mind. Maybe I shouldn't open mine, but, man. Hmm. Well, I'll ask you this. Are you planning on buying the second one? I do plan on it. Now open it. Let's open it. Let's give it a fair view. You got he who opens everything on here. You're going to open it. Because, you know, we know people that just you like to do men on card stuff all the time. And it, that can be cool. But, man, it's King Diamond. And he would want you to play with him. And right here, you, you got his, you got his crossbone microphone, which is pretty cool. They want you to uh, help him into the chair. <laughs> so, two little girls. Blah, 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 blah. I forget the lyrics to that song, but anyway. <laughs> Let me help you into the chair. Look at Grandma. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So let's see if, if King Diamond can test out some of his vocals. Uh, on the count of three, we're gonna see if uh, King Diamond will belt out some of his classic vocals. Uh, Overlord will help me on this. Uh, one, two, three, go, King. Grandma! Man, it's like King Diamond. Good lord, it's like King Diamond's really here, man. Say to I'm a corpse, I'm a corpse out of soul. No, no, it's, uh, this one, this one's for this video. Oh, it is time for tea. <laughs> that's not a King Diamond song, but that's an inside joke of me and Overlord. But anyways, uh... It's a King Diamond song, it's a uh, tea. Anyways, this, uh... Ah, this figure's awesome. You, you kind of, you get this figure, you kind of have to have two of them. You kind of have to just take them out and enjoy them, dude. And just have King Diamond just walking around the other toys, rocking out, man, with She-Ra and stuff. I wish she was taller. She-Ra versus she King Diamond. It's all She-Ra. Let me rock out for you. No, I'm not into dark, heavy metal. I'm not into Satan. Well, I don't she care, woman. Because I'm going to rock you out with some groovy metal. Ah! Yeah, this means they have to do like a Lemmy and a Dio and an Ozzy. That would be Dunn. pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. There are no figures Dio or Rob Halford. That's like metal blasphemy. What the heck? <laughs> but yeah, man. Oh, that was sick, man. That actually, the costume apparently I was I read was his uh, Merciful Fate getup. Although he had that up until... I think the conspiracy album. But now we got cool, cool metal figures like the like the Pharaoh from Eddie Pharaoh from uh, Power Slave, and now you got King Diamond, and you got the you got the Misfits Fiend, which he is not in this room right now. He's somewhere else. I don't know where he's at, but he is not in here. 
But, uh, you know, and he's also at scale with the Funko figures. With uh, we got our guy from Ready Player One, so let's scale with those figures, so that's not bad at all. And, uh, oh, he's a sick figure. You got the cool old school vinyl cape like Darth Vader. And, just, oh, he's awesome. He's just awesome. He's an awesome figure. He's got his bone cross, Mike. So when they do put out more of this figure, yeah, I would say get five, six of them if you want to. Get one for grandma. <laughs> Get one for Grandma, get one for uh, Missy. <laughs> get one for the nuns in the convent. For, uh, was it Matilda? <laughs> <laughs> for Abigail. For everybody, man. This, this is awesome Jonathan. figure. <laughs> it's great. Great stuff, man. <laughs> good, good stuff, man. And, and I've got a funny anecdote to share, which is pretty stupid, but it's worth sharing. Um, once when I was a kid, we used to write on our book covers with metallic ink on pens and I bought this pen and I remember seeing King Diamond in a magazine at like the store or the convenience store or whatever, like a metal mag, see him on the cover and be like, wow, that dude's interesting. Looks kind of like Kiss. Yeah. Anyways, but needless to say, I, I bought one of these metallic, I bought one of these metallic pens cause I wanted to write on stuff and, and you know, draw with it. And um, my, I've got it home. I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. And my dad's like, don't mess, with, don't, don't mess with it. So I was laying in my bed, jacking with this pen. I ended up uh, busting it and uh, getting like silver metallic ink all over my face. And then when I freaked out, screamed, ran up to the bathroom mirror, I looked like King Diamond, man. I didn't look too far off. And that was before I even ever heard a King Diamond song. But I at least knew what he looked like. And... Back then, I thought everybody, I don't know, I was like, I thought he was pretty evil looking and pretty hardcore as far as that goes, but I'd never, I hadn't even heard his music yet at that time. It's funny, as him in real life, he's just like a laid back dude who wears like uh, Metallica shirts and uh, sweatpants. King Diamond's one of the most groovy dudes of metal. He puts, he puts uh, his music and Merciful Fate and stuff like that always had a groove to it, man. It was like groovy, you know, kind of. He had those infectious grooves. Kind of just. Kind of just groovy, man. But yeah. But anyways, it's my review of King Diamond. I wanted to finally give him a fair review and stuff and check him out because he's just awesome and just the music's great and everything's great. The, the um obviously the art's awesome. Right. Was it was it Repka that did the art again for for yeah. this? Yeah. Ed Repka. It's all of death and, and of death and Megadeth and all kinds of cool metal art. But anyways, it's gonna wrap up this review. It's going to wrap up this review as me and my buddy reviewing this uh, reaction figure Super 7 Halloween Series King Diamond. Thanks again, y'all. And yeah, I'll leave a link for uh, Overlord's channel for you to go check him out if you don't know him. And if, if, you, if you don't, then go subscribe. And if not, you know, whatever. Go jump off a cliff. Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all. And uh, more good videos definitely on the way. Bye.